The lady is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I rise this evening to speak on a serious issue that affects my constituents. I've been investigating it since it was brought to my attention several months ago through our local media. The Department of Energy is in the process of moving dangerous radioactive waste thousands of miles across the country from East Tennessee to Southern Nevada. This waste is destined for the Nevada Nuclear Security Site, formerly known as the Nevada Test Site. This is a totally separate issue now from the proposed Yucca Mountain storage site debate that we have heard earlier today. If you're unaware that this radioactive waste is traveling through your backyard, I'm not surprised. The DOE has failed to properly inform Congress about this activity. The project involves the transport of hundreds of canisters containing high concentration of fissile materials from the Consolidated Edison Uranium Solidification Project in Oak Ridge, Tennessee to be dumped in my state of Nevada. The materials are so radioactive that they have a half-life of more than 160,000 years. I want to be clear now, this is not the kind of low-level waste that the Nevada test site has been accepting for years. In fact, just weeks ago, I learned that the Department of Energy had reworked the waste acceptance criteria for the security site to allow storage of materials that have radioactive concentrations more than 40 times, 40 times higher than anything that has ever been brought to the site for disposal before. That revision to the WAC, or Waste Acceptance Criteria, was signed off on by the DOE the very same day that agency officials met with my staff and state and local officials. Yet DOE didn't think it was necessary or important to inform any of us about this change. As a matter of fact, it took an internet search days later to discover that DOE had actually reworked the playbook for the site without any public input. Mr. Chairman, there are far too many questions about what DOE is doing and plans to do at the Nevada test site, questions that so far have gone unanswered. Nevadans have had a lot of experience dealing with federal officials throughout the days of atomic testing and during the Cold War. We're not going to just turn aside now and let the DOE run roughshod over our communities. And I can tell you I'm not alone in expressing my concerns about the DOE's activities. Our Republican governor, Brian Sandoval, has also publicly stated his opposition to the shipments of this radioactive waste. In a letter to the Energy Secretary, our governor stated that classifying this material as low-level waste sets a dangerous precedent. And I would ask unanimous consent, please, to submit the letter to the record uh, from Governor Sandoval. Ladies' request will be covered under general leave. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, my district sits just 65 miles southeast of the Nevada test site. The Las Vegas metropolitan area is home to nearly 2 million residents and more than 40 million visitors annually. Any plan to transport waste through the heart of the Las Vegas Valley would be extremely risky and incredibly irresponsible. The stakes are just too high on district to gamble excuse me, on District 1 safety. The DOE has refused to cooperate with repeated attempts to gather additional information so we can have appropriate oversight. It's unthinkable that DOE is moving forward with this program without properly briefing members of Congress. If we are being kept in the dark, who is overseeing the DOE's plans? It's critical that DOE be forthright about how and why the WAC was changed, how the changes relate to the proposed shipment, and how these changes will affect the safety and security of Southern Nevada and communities across the country in the path of this transportation. I'd like to thank the chairman and especially the ranking member uh, for allowing me to bring this to the attention of the House, and I would ask them to work with me to ensure that there is proper congressional oversight of DOE and that the people of Nevada and beyond get the answers that they deserve. With that, I'll yield.